drink your blood. You're not gonna drink my blood. Come on, let me drink your blood. It's not gonna happen. There is nothing that you can do or say that would ever, and I mean ever, convince me to let you drink my blood. I'll make your great sword do more damage. You can have all of it. Hello, 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 my fellow Sunbreakers then. Today, I am very excited. Like, very excited. Because me and my swarm of blood babies are finally going to talk to you about me and my swarm of blood babies. I... The, the skill dereliction... Dereliction? Final bosses armor sets new and unique skill. Not on talismans, of course, not on decorations, of course, and I do wonder if that will ever change, because if so, my gog. This is the single most powerful armor skill in the entirety of Sunbreak. Having one rank of dereliction is worth more than one rank of anything else by a good margin. And that's quite a big deal, because every build then is going to want it, both elemental and raw. The only catch is, as you might know, yeah, you're surrounded by a blood-sucking swarm of flying death leech things, bats. And yes, they do the sucky blood on you, and they will never stop. They will never stop. The cost of wielding the power that this armor skill brings is that you constantly have to be aware that you're slowly dying the entire time you have it on. But it very, very much is worth it. How worth it? Well, that's the answer to today's video's question. How exactly does this skill work? What exactly does it give you? And is there any way to more easily manage the health drain other than the health restore it gives you built into the skill when you swap scrolls? Which you don't want to be doing because you want to be sticking to the scroll that gives you the damage that you're after, so that's a little bit of a double-edged sword, but we'll get to that. Dereliction, then. When you are sat on red scroll, you will gain a bonus to element and status. When you are sat on blue scroll, you get a bonus to raw attack and your stun value. Well, before we answer the question, just how much does it actually give you, because, you know, that's pretty important and the skill feels like not telling you, how long does it take to actually get to stages two and three? Basically, just for being in the scroll with this skill, you gain an appreciable bump, but after the first curio has drained enough health, it will spawn a second curio. After that second curio has drained enough health, it will spawn a third curio. How much health does it need to drain? This much health. And I do mean literally health drain. This is not a time-based thing. If you don't have any health for the curio to drain, no matter how long you sit there and wait, you will not get a new curio. And that, my friend, is curios. <laughs> <laughs> it also then takes about one minute for a curio to drain enough health to spawn the next curio. So when you start the hunt, go to the scroll that you need to be in for the boost that you're after, either element or raw, and then by the time you get to the monster, you might already have both curios and be ready to go at maximum anyway. Then try your best not to switch scrolls so you maintain maximum bonus. But what is the bonus then? Well, I will share with you the numbers. And trust me, I have sat in the training room for about 35 minutes, letting myself get to full curios for both element and raw on ranks one, two, and three of the skill, so I can write down the exact numbers of each for every rank so I can tell you it, well, right now. At rank three, dereliction, for sitting in red scroll, you will be given 10 extra element which is very, very nice. When your second curio spawns, you'll be given an extra five element, and your final curio will give you another extra five element for a total of plus 20, and yeah, that is amazing. If you're in blue scroll, you will gain plus 25 raw attack for just existing there, and then when your second curio comes along, that is worth plus five raw, and your third curio is worth another plus five for a total of plus 35 raw for just three ranks of a skill. Hot damn. 
Now, uh, rank one of the skill then will give you plus 15 raw for sitting in blue and an extra five raw per curio. Rank one on the elemental side of things will give you a plus five for sitting in red scroll and then plus three and four respectively for curios two and three for a total of plus 12. These are all the numbers, and you can take them in at your leisure. I hope you find them actually useful. The main thing to take away from this is that the sweet spot for this skill is actually the first rank, rank 1. That gives you by far and away the biggest amount of goodness for your investment. And it just so happens that uh, the legs of Guys Magom have just one dereliction along with three decoration slots of mighty proportions. Which means that actually, you don't need to basically choose between zero dereliction or three dereliction. Likely for most builds, the optimum way to run dereliction, and most builds will want to run it if you're comfortable playing with the health drain, is to just use the legs, use those slots whatever you need, and then use your best four pieces of armor in the other slots, because the guys Magom arms for the final two pieces of dereliction aren't actually that good and you will likely be able to get more damage out of a more efficient arm piece than you will out of the final two ranks of Dereliction. So definitely something to keep in mind. So, that's how Dereliction works. The health drain, the bonuses, and whether it's worth using one, two, or all three ranks of the skill, especially given it can only come from guys with garment, gloves, and legs for now. How can you make it more comfortable to use? Well, there is two key important ways that every single weapon can utilize. The first is a new... Dango! That just felt right, okay? Don't... Don't judge me. This new Dango then is called the Super Recovery Dango. And basically what it will do is give you permanent health recovery through the hunt at level 4. Yeah, you heard me right. That is amazing. The amount it recovers isn't huge, but look at it like this. When you have eaten this Dango, the Curio Health Drain will be one third slower. Or 33% slower. So, definitely, if you're running Dereliction, consider always eating for this Dango at level 4, using a ticket to at least get that 80% chance to activate it. The other and perhaps even more impressive way to make Dereliction work with that much more smoothness is the Gourmet Fish. Fish! First and foremost, you want to go to your Argosi and get all of them farming pop fish. Fish that literally pop when they explode. <laughs> Lovely. And uh, then you want to take these popfish that you're farmed over to uh, the dango stall and get yourself a motley mix. Have them all turned into gourmet fish, and now you have a massive supply of gourmet fish. But why is gourmet fish so good? Well, first and foremost, when you eat it, you will restore all your red health, which is the health that the Cure Drain leaves you with. But much more importantly, for 30 seconds after consuming it, you will gain a potent health regen buff. This one is much stronger than the Dango and will slow the Curio Drain by about 70% while it's on. It is affected by Power Prolonger, but it's not really worth using for that. And indeed, this makes the entire skill so much more palatable. It really is quite the match made in heaven, and genuinely, if you are running Dereliction, bring a stack of gourmet fish on every hunt, and, well, go to town on them. You don't have to constantly keep one up, but whenever you feel like you're getting low from Dereliction, you've got a lot of red health, heal it with one of these, and for 30 seconds, you will find yourself having a much, much easier time. It truly is Wonderful. And by the way, if you combine both the dango and uh, the fish, well, that almost completely counters the curio drain. It still technically is the tiniest bit faster, but it's about a 95% reduction in it draining your health. 
almost to the point where this actually isn't good to use, because one of the main advantages of Curio is not just how strong Dereliction is, but the fact it gives you permanent red health, which means it gives you permanent resentment activation, and these two together kind of work against that. And yeah, resentment becomes one of the most valuable skills for you if you are a raw build with Dereliction, because 100% uptime on it is fantastic. It really is. Stuff like Recovery Up, does affect both the fish and the dango, so that's nice. However, recovery speed doesn't help with the curio drain, as it seems to almost disable that skill while you're being drained, which is a shame, otherwise that would be a really good way to manage it for just decorations that require one slots. In any case then, there you go, that's the everything you need to know, just how good Dereliction is, so you can use it with confidence and ease to smash your hunts. It's obviously of course still particularly good against afflicted monsters, because while you have Blood Blight on you, you're healing from damaging, and that healing helps heal the drain from Dereliction, so it really encourages you to be ultra aggressive, which gets you faster kill times, and is all around a really fun way to play. This armor skill is awesome, and I love it. The visuals as well are incredible, having the curios flying around you, it's just fantastic in every way. It not only gives you a load of power, but it encourages you to have a hunting playstyle all of itself that is entirely dedicated and uh, directed by Dereliction's existence. And yes, you can heal for about 100 health this much, if you swap while you have two extra curios, but then you lose the extra boost for that, so really only do that in emergencies if you need a quick heal right now, otherwise you might cut. This really does lend itself to builds that can stay in one switch skill scroll for the majority of the hunt without a need to constantly change. Oh, alright, that's my dereliction TED Talk, and I hope you have very much enjoyed it. For now then, like if you have, subscribe and hit the bell for all of your sunbreak needs come the future, and consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. Until we meet again then, a god. <laughs> Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye